Hello, it's Dr. Rohde. We're going to continue on with our hormone discussion, and the next one I want to talk about is, I think, one of the more important ones. It really ties together a lot of the other organ systems, um, and it's part of our uh, healing system, part of our immune system balance, part of blood sugar metabolism uh, balance, and so it really plays a lot of functions in the body, and it's something we don't often really pay attention to. But when we're adjusting uh, female or male hormones or we're working with thyroid, all of those interact together because if you think the body is a large hormone factory and all of these work together, they all um, interrelate and interact. And as we adjust one, then others change and you need to take those into consideration. Especially when we talk about people coming in and saying they're tired and a lot of times our adrenal glands are stressed. And I know that sounds a little bit silly, but we think about all the stressors we deal with in a daily life and our cortisol helps us deal with that. Uh, and it also helps us deal with inflammation in the body. And a lot of times foods that we eat drive inflammation and that takes us back again to our healthy gut uh, discussion earlier on. So if you're allergic to gluten like I am and you put gluten in it drives inflammation in the body then your adrenal glands make more cortisol. That affects male and female hormones and it also affects thyroid which goes back to regulate uh, weight, energy and all of those other things tied together. So really important to look at those also. And I want to bring back again the importance of understanding that all of these hormones are made from cholesterol. And if you think about that, cholesterol turns into pregnenolone to progesterone and then on down to aldosterone. And on the second pathway, uh, pregnenolone goes down to cortisol. So again, cholesterol becomes a really important portion of managing your appropriate hormones. And then I want to throw up Mr. Bones is helping us out with this this morning, your adrenal glands. And literally adrenal means above your uh, kidneys. Um, the kidneys are right here and this looks like a little stocking cap on your kidneys. And there are two parts to the adrenal glands. Uh, the inner medulla and the outer capsule or cortex and they produce a number of important hormones and so uh, adrenaline which is part of your fight or flight system and then also the aldosterone and cortisol so blood pressure and fluid metabolism and then the cortisol uh, energy fight or flight and balance with other hormones so really important glands to look at. Um, if we think about the importance of this, we really need to understand balance with that. And we often measure this, no, not often, but always measure that on an initial visit, uh, looking at what we call a four-point cortisol. So looking first thing in the morning when you get up gives us an idea, how did your body heal and restore at night? Which is really going back to the importance of getting six, seven, eight hours of uninterrupted refreshing sleep at night so your body can heal. Um, and measuring that first cortisol gives us a great idea how your body's doing when you first get up. We look again um, midday around lunchtime, again dinner time or evening time, and then one before bedtime. So it gives us an idea how your cortisol is doing through the whole day, and you'd be surprised some of the variations that I see in that and how they affect people's daily function and the other hormones that are out of balance in the body. One of the biggest things, um, people have the misunderstanding that if your cortisol is out of balance, it's going to immediately mean you have weight problems. It ties into it, but it's not 100%. So all of the hormones apply to this and affect each other. And if the cortisol is out of balance, you will have problems with other hormones, including thyroid and uh, the sex hormones. And those can affect weight together. And so it's really important to measure all of those. But again, starting with an understanding that you got to have your gut healthy and working to make all the other things function optimally. So look forward to seeing you in the office if I can help you, and I'll see you on our next video.